Hey everybody, how's it going? In this video, we'll be learning how to create multiple Python build systems within Sublime Text so that we can run Python 2 or Python 3. Now this can be extremely useful if you're working on multiple projects and need to switch between different versions of Python. So if we look at my Sublime Text here, uh, up here in Tools and Build Systems, you can see that I have two custom build systems, one for Python 2.7 and one for Python 3.5. So depending on the project I'm working on, it's as easy as coming in here and choosing a different version if I want to run the program with that different version. So let's go ahead and recreate both of these build systems from scratch uh, so that we can see how we did this. So to create a new build system, we just come to this exact same location and instead of selecting a build system, we can come down here to new build system to create a new one. Now this is going to open up a new file called untitled.sublimebuild, um, but before we make a new build system, let's actually see where this is going to get saved to. Uh, because some people uh, create these build systems by accident and they don't know where to go in order to delete them. So these are actually going to get saved to our packages folder. Uh, so to view where your packages folder is, if I click here uh, on Sublime Text in the top left, go to Preferences, then I can go to Browse Packages. This is going to open up the location of my Packages folder. Now I'm on a Mac, and we can see that on a Mac, it's within our Home folder, Library, Application Support, Sublime Text, and then Packages. So within this Packages folder, I'm going to navigate within this User folder here, and now we can see our custom build systems. So I have this Python 2.7 Sublime Build, and I have this Python 3.5 Sublime Build. So now let's just go ahead and delete both of these and we'll recreate both of them from scratch. So I'm just going to open up the Sublime Text documentation online here and they have an example of a Python build system and we're just going to go ahead and modify this to the versions that we want to use. Now if you want to know where this documentation is online then just Google Sublime Text build systems and it's one of the first results that pops up. Okay so let's go ahead and paste this into our custom build system and then I'll explain uh, exactly what's going on there. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of this and paste that in. Okay, so first of all we have this command statement. Now what this is doing is it's just like, let me open up my terminal here, this is just like uh, typing in a command in the terminal. So this python and then dash u and then file would be the same as doing python dash u and then the path to whatever file that we want to run with python. Now that's going to use our system's default Python. So in order to explicitly set the specific version that we want to uh, use, then we have to know the path to that Python interpreter. So first let's go ahead and create our Python 2.7 build system. Now my operating system shipped with Python 2.6 and Python 2.7, and that's located within user bin Python 2.6 and Python 2.7. Now if you want to check the location of a specific Python interpreter, then what you can try is you can go to your terminal and type which and then try something like Python 2.6 or Python 2.7 and that will show you the location of that command. So now I'm just going to go ahead and grab this location here and instead of this default Python, I'm just going to go ahead and paste in the user bin Python and instead of 2.6 there, I'm actually going to use 2.7. I'm going to go ahead and save this file now and I don't want to overwrite the entire file name here. I want to leave this .sublime build, but I'm just going to replace untitled with python-2.7, and let's go ahead and save that. So now if I go back to our user folder here, now we should see this python 27 sublime build in our users folder, and if I go to tools and build systems, now we should see that python 27 build system available. Okay, so before we make our Python 3 uh, build system, let's go ahead and take a look at exactly what this other stuff is doing. So uh, first of all, what is this dash u option doing here? Now I'm not going to go too in depth in this video, but basically what this has to do is uh, with our output buffers. So just to quickly show what this is good for, I'm going to remove this dash u option and come over here to this test file called buff.py. And within this code, what we're doing is we are printing out hello world uh, once every second for five seconds. Now, without that dash u option, if I run this, you can see that we don't have any output. And then after five seconds, you can see that all that output comes at once. So in order to correct that and get it to work, to work the way that we expect it to work, 
then I can put back in that dash u option and save that. And now if I go back to that uh, Python file and run that, now you can see that the output is like we would expect it. So that is what the dash u option is good for there. Now as far as the file regex and the selector, I just usually leave these alone. Um, so the file regex uh, has to do with how our output is displayed, and the selector has to do with, uh, if we go to tools and build systems, it has to do with how this automatic build system works. But I'm going to go ahead and just leave those as is. So now to make our Python 3 uh, build system, I'm just going to copy all of those uh, lines of code there. I'm going to go to Tools, Build System, New Build System, and let's go ahead and just paste all of that into this file here. Now just like we did with Python 2, I'm going to go over here to our terminal, and first you have to have Python 3 installed, and after you install it, then it will most likely put it in a position, if we do a which Python 3.5, it'll mostly likely put it in your user local bin folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this location here and put this in, instead of our Python 2.7, I'm going to use this Python 3.5. Now I'm going to go ahead and save that. And again, be sure not to overwrite that sublime build. And I'm just going to call this Python-3.5 and let's go ahead and save that. So now if I go to my tools and build systems, now you can see that we have both of those custom build systems available. So I have a couple of files here that we can test this out with. So I want to use this file here to check the Python 2 build system. So if I run this, I'm printing out the executable. And you can see that this is a little bit different than what we had in our build system file. Uh, this user bin Python 2.7 is what you would expect to print out when we print out that executable. Uh, but really on the Mac, that's really just a sim link to this location. So that worked fine. And now if I go to tools and build system and choose Python 3.5 and run this, now you can see that I get an error. And that's because in this file, I'm using uh, Python 2 code. So let's go over to this other file, which uses Python 3. And now if I run this file, now you can see that it printed out the uh, Python 3 interpreter there. So now depending on which project you're working on, you can just come in here and go to build system and switch between Python 2 and Python 3 just at the click of a button. So I think that's going to do it for this video. I uh, hope that helped if you ever need to run multiple versions of Python within Sublime Text. But if uh, you do have any questions, just feel free to ask in the comment section below. Uh, be sure to subscribe for future videos and thank you all for watching.